Hi, my name is Anne Griffin and I am the author of When All Is Said. When All Is Said is the story of Morris Hannigan, an 84-year-old farmer who is a single-minded, crotchety, cantankerous, very successful farmer from Ireland. And he sits one night to the bar of the Rainsford House Hotel and he's there for one reason and it is to raise five toasts to the five most important people in his life. And through those five stories, we learn just who Morris Hannigan is, why he's there, his triumphs, his failures, his loves, his losses, and his secrets. So I'm here in Covent Garden, Waterstones Covent Garden, in a beautiful shop in which I used to work back in the 90s. But it's wonderful to be coming back and to see just how beautiful this shop is um, and to see the magnificent changes that have happened in this, in this lovely shop. Um, the beautiful alcoves um, that are now here, it's absolutely fantastic. And have got some fantastic stationery and books all around. I can't wait to start shopping after this. But I wanted to talk to you about three books um, that very much have influenced my life and my writing. And the first one is here. And I want to talk to you about Jonathan Coe. Obviously most people will know uh, Middle England because um, it, it is out now. Um, but I wanted to start with what a carve up because this was the book that was handed to me when I walked into Waterstones Covent Garden and I was told to go read this man. And I am so glad they did because this man is terrific. Um, and what he did for me as an Irish person coming to London to live for uh, the first time was he taught me about culture in England in the UK and what had happened really historically almost since after the war right through to Thatcherite Britain. I was blown away by this book and read it within days and just thought this man not only is fantastic at bringing the political world into, the, into everyday life but it's also extremely funny and witty and so I'm glad to say that in Middle England he has absolutely blown me away once again. So I read this over the Christmas and this is the book for anybody who wants to figure out how the hell did Brexit happen? Because it just brings us through from 2010 right up to 2018 and gives us wonderful perspectives on ordinary people in the UK and all of their differences, all of their arguments that happened in the homes and in the pubs around the UK over Brexit. Um, again, he has the wittiest dialogue I've ever come across. It's sharp um, and I read Co to help me with my own dialogue. So if you haven't gotten around to Jonathan Coe yet, you absolutely must. My second recommend is Richard Russo. Nobody's Fool was written back in uh, the 90s. I think they actually made a movie of it in which Paul Newman played the wonderful Donald Sullivan. This man is one of the best writers around small towns, small communities and how people interact. And he is fantastic. Uh, always a character driven novel, Donald Sullivan particularly in this one and in this one. Um, he writes um, these kind of um, flawed men so well. And I think that has really influenced my, char my character, Morris Hannigan, in When All Is Said. Um, he, what he does is he you can't, there are times when you think, I cannot believe Donald Sullivan has just done that. That's just a horrendous thing to do to somebody. And then in the next moment, Russo has you just falling in love with him because he's done something so simple and so good for someone in the, in the community. So he's, he's just really good at showing our humanity at its worst and its, its best. He is also, like Jonathan Coe, extremely humorous. Um, and there are laugh out loud moments in both of these books. Um, and so I, I just recommend him for that, um, for, his sh for that dialogue again. Again, he's a great influence for me, not just on how to write flawed characters, but on how to write sharp dialogue. So this was in the 1990s. And then 20 years later, in 2016, he writes Everybody's Fool, where he's back in the same community, where 10 years later in the story, and we're meeting Donald Sullivan again, and um, we're revisiting the same characters. And I had one of the best Christmases, a, being brought back to Richard, Richard Russo and his characters. So please, people, I think it's time the world just embraced Richard Russo over here. My final recommend is Mary Lawson. Mary Lawson um, has written a, a, a trilogy um, where we meet quite a few characters set in Northern Ontario. I love Mary Lawson and a bit like with Richard Russo because she writes small town communities very very well. She has the most beautiful way of writing 
um, it's almost, it is it's so silent, it is so effortless, um, and I am so drawn to it. I was listening um, to Hosier yesterday, I'm going off on a tangent, but this is important. I was listening to Hosier on the radio yesterday, and I don't know if anybody has ever watched Hosier sing, but that man, <coughs> he stands and is almost effortless in what he does, and yet this beautiful, powerful voice comes out, and that is what Mary Lawson does. And that is what I try <laughs> and aim to do in my own writing and hope that I have managed it with Morris Hannigan in When All Is Said. The other thing I want to say about this woman, I love her for one other reason. She uh, came to write, no, she published her first book in her 50s and I have published my book in my 50s. I was 50 this month. And so people like her and Kit Duval, who I have to mention also, have been my inspiration about just you can do anything at any stage of your life and i am happy to have joined their ranks in in now being a published author